हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल योर वीकेंड ट्यूटर सो वी एज अफ यू नो दैट वी हैव स्टार्टेड द क्वेश्चन इयर्स लाइक वी आर गोइंग ऑन कंटिन्यूस डेज एंड नाउ वी हैव एंटर्ड इनटू ग्रेड टेन एंड नाउ वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद केमिकल रिएक्शंस एंड इक्वेशंस एंड प्रीवियसली वी हैव फिनिश्ड वन सेशन एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग इन टू दर सेशन okay so now we are in day 6 so so these all five days we have gone through many questions right so today we will also learn five more questions on chemical reactions and equations okay let's start the first question is the process of gaining oxygen or losing hydrogen what is it given gaining oxygen losing hydrogen so gaining oxygen losing hydrogen so what is it we call it as oxidation okay what is it oxidation and what do we call reduction gaining hydrogen losing oxygen what is it gaining hydrogen losing oxygen we call it as reduction for this question what is the correct answer option b next what is the general term used to describe a substance that speeds up a chemical reaction without being consumed in the process so we will be using a substance that substance will speeds up the chemical reaction to run the chemical reaction more faster than the actual time we will be using a substance what is that substance we call that substance as reactant okay next question which type of chemical reaction occurs when a single compound breaks down into two or more simple substances for suppose you will be taking uh, co2 co2 will be broken down into carbon plus oxygen or we can write it as cso3 will be broken down into cao plus co2 okay so single compound has been broken down into two or more simple substances we call this as decomposition reaction what is it decomposition reaction so what is combination reaction in the name itself you are having com combining that means one if you take two elements or compounds or molecules that two will combine and form a single compound okay like water H hydrogen plus oxygen will be giving you water right displacement reaction displacement is something where high reactive metal will be replacing with less reactive metal okay high reactive high reactive metal will be replacing low reactive metal okay so redox reaction is where in a reaction both reduction reduction and oxidation takes place okay so for this what is the correct answer decomposition reaction next what does the arrow represent in a chemical reaction what does it def defines this arrow this defines that reactant is giving the product right reactant is giving the product that means it is showing the direction towards the product that means reactants will be combining and will be giving you the product so that means this is defining you the direction okay so what is the correct answer direction next in a redox reaction which of the following occurs so as if we i already discussed redox reaction is something where in which both reduction reduction and oxidation takes place what is it both reduction and oxidation takes place so which is the correct answer option c so in this today's five questions we have learned what is meant by reduction and what is meant by oxidation okay now in the coming days we will be learning about more questions and we will be getting deep into the concepts and we will be learning the concepts as well and at the same time we will be going through the questionnaires okay so first we'll 
cover the basic uh, grade 10 and we'll go into the foundation and next JE need like that we will be following up and the level of the questions will be increasing day by day okay please stay tuned don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel your weekend tutor thank you